morning everybody, uh, I decided to do another weekly vlog this week because I really enjoyed filming the last week, I know it wasn't like an amazing vlog but um, I'm like so embarrassed to talk out in public, it's ridiculous, so um, yeah, but hopefully you like enjoyed watching it and I think if I do this more and more I'll get more and more used to it and just start doing it more and be like okay with um, filming in public and all that sort of stuff. But I've decided to vlog this week as well, which at first I wasn't sure about it because I don't have too much going on. But on Friday I'm going back to um, France, back to uni. So yeah, I thought that would be quite nice for you to come along with me, even if it's just for like the end of the week kind of thing. But um, yeah, so today I'm not doing much. I'm literally just lounging around. Um, I think I'm going to have one of those afternoon baths because I'm just really feeling a bath and my hair seriously needs a wash. So, um, yeah, I'm also, I just got a package, this is why I picked up my camera, because I just got a package and it's from Rodial. So if you saw last week's vlog then you will have seen the makeup consultation I had and basically they just sent me a huge box with all the goodies. So I'm going to open it up now and basically show you everything that's inside and I'm very, very excited about it. I mean... If every Monday started like this, I really wouldn't complain. I've just put my camera on a tripod, so hopefully I can show you everything like a little bit better. And there's literally so much to go through, so let's get started. Today is a boring day, so I feel like I'm trying to make the most of it, or make up for it by showing you all this goodness. So I'm gonna start off with this, which is the Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. And to be honest, I can't remember what she used this for. I thought that she was going to send me a spray. Oh, this is. Is it? Oh, I have no idea. So this is a cleansing water and I think she uses to remove my makeup if I'm sure. I'm not 100% sure. But another one from the Dragon's Blood range is this, which is the Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel. And this she used before applying my makeup and she said that this was like the perfect way to kind of bring out your natural contour and you just press this down and you get the product on it. So I personally really like that. I think it's a good way to not um, waste too much. And yeah, really looking forward to trying this, especially for those kind of lazy days. I think it will be a really good one to kind of just put this on and you're naturally sculpted. What should I go for next? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna go for this, which is the Smoky Eye Pen in Brown. And this she used on my eye, obviously. And she used this as a kind of eyeliner. The Glamour Brow, I loved this. She did my brows like amazingly well. This is in the shade Ash Brown. I have quite dark brows, I'd say. But yeah, I love this. One side has a spoolie, which I love. I don't have any brow products that have a spoolie, so I'm very excited about this. And then this is kind of the um, nib of the brow product. There's also the Instaglam Magic Pen, and this is um, a highlighter, basically. So it's kind of a pencil highlighter. Um, it's quite white if that makes sense, like quite shiny, quite white. Then there's the eye sculpt. This again is, she said, was the only eye product from Rodial. And it just comes in a little pot like this and you can use it for whatever you want really, just all over the lid. And she actually used some bronzer and blusher to kind of give my, give me more of a color. And then there is the Rodial Skin Tint SPF 20. I thought it was less than that, so that's really good that SPF is 20. This is in the shade 01 because I am quite pale. But I loved this. I really, really thought it was nice. I believe it comes in four shades. Like, I'm pretty sure it comes in four shades. And it basically looks like this. So it's quite lightweight. It's not a lot. How much comes in here? It's 40 milliliters, which isn't loads. But um, I think this is a really nice one to travel with. Like, it's really thin, it's really cool. So I'm actually going to save this one and probably take it on holiday with me. Then the blusher is this one. She said there were two blushes. This one is the shade South Beach. So it's kind of a really pretty light pink. It comes in there like standard packaging, which is really nice. And it's just a really pretty light kind of pink. Yeah, you can really see the colour here. This is very, like, true to the natural colour that I can see. Really pretty. Now let's talk lip liner. She really kindly sent me all three, which is so nice. So there's Baby, Nude, and my fave, which is Pink Espresso. You can kind of see the colours here. They were all swatched in my previous video, so do check that out if you'd like to see it. And I wore Pink Espresso, but really looking forward to trying all of these. I really, really, really love them. And probably the most exciting is this range, which is the sculpting range. This is kind of what you need, I guess. 
um, to do your kind of sculpting, your natural, natural looking sculpting and I'm just very excited to try these because as I mentioned before, Kim Kardashian used these in her app so everybody is going crazy over them. This is the illuminating powder, it's really pretty, it's basically a highlighter. Um, so pretty, you can use this either wet or dry. She actually used it dry on me, but, um, and then kind of went over with some dry just to kind of keep it in place, and this is just beautiful. This one is the contouring powder, and she said it's one shade suits all, which I thought was quite an interesting concept, but this is a very kind of, um, grey toned brown, like very cool toned. Um, and she used this on me and I really, really loved the way it looked, so really looking forward to kind of trying this myself and trying to recreate it. Then there's the bronzer, which as you can see is like much warmer, it is coming a bit, it is coming up a bit orangier on camera, but it's definitely kind of a cool toned bronzer and just a really, really nice one. Again, I really liked the way this looked when she applied it. And finally, the translucent HD powder. Just thought I'd chip in now because from here on, the rest of this vlog is so confusing, but um, I'm just going to like talk you through it so that it makes a little more sense because I do have so much footage to share that I didn't want to kind of um, just throw it all away kind of thing, so hopefully you won't mind watching it like this. But basically on Tuesday I went to ASOS HQ, had a little bit um, of a wander through their press room. <laughs> Fast forward to Thursday, I started the day with a reformed Pilates class with Swimwear 365. Um, let's just find a space then. And we'll start with a little bit of warm up. <laughs> our reformed Pilates class at um, Move Your Frame and it was really really good, it was quite challenging um, but really good, hopefully some of my clips are alright so you guys can take a look but if not I will leave a link to it down below so you can check it out yourself. After breakfast I headed to the Boohoo Press Day which was kind of their showcase of their Autumn Winter 16. <laughs> events for today. Um, I didn't have too many but then of course I did go in and do a little bit of shopping. Um, so yeah on my way home now and got some beautiful flowers from the um, Swimwear 365 event like they're beautiful and um, yeah that's it. That was all I filmed in London. Friday I came back to France which is where I am now in case you don't recognize this background but um, yeah, Friday I came back and I was just running so late, I honestly thought I was going to miss my train, I've never been so rushed, but um, luckily it was alright, I made it to my train and all was good, um, but yeah, I just didn't really film until today, and today is the 10th of May, so clearly this vlog is very sporadic, but I hope you don't mind, I thought to kind of make up for it. I would give you a room tour because I remember saying in my kind of year abroad video that I wanted to film a room tour but I just never got around to it. Time honestly goes by so quickly, like I'm almost leaving which is crazy so I don't think I'll get the chance to film a proper room tour and it's quite late now anyway so I don't know how much you'd want to see a uni room tour when I'm leaving but um, I'm just going to show you around now, I've basically spent the whole morning like tidying up so that's okay um, but yeah I'm just going to show you around now and hopefully you'll enjoy. So this is the most boring part, it's just my front door and my bathroom and then we go over to my kind of kitchen area which basically everything is in my room. This is so basic, it's literally a sink, two hobs and like a mini fridge which is, it's so weird, I don't even have an oven and it was just crazy. And then here is kind of my bed area. So I've got this here which is kind of really nice for storage, oh my god the top is messy, I didn't do that bit, sorry. But um, this bit is really nice for storage, I really quite like it, I think it looks really pretty. Um, and it's kind of been the backdrop for a couple of the videos that I filmed here, not that I filmed too many, but you might recognise it if you've watched those. Then I've just got like a bed, it's just a single bed, nothing fancy. I've got a window here, another one here, and then I've got my 
desk area basically and um, yes yeah, so I've got my school books and stuff like that school <laughs> got my uni books there I've got my laptop there kind of a couple of things here and as I said another window and finally my wardrobe so um yeah I can't exactly show you a full pan but um yeah this is pretty much it I guess I like it I mean I was pleasantly surprised when I showed up it's kind of good or nice to have everything together it's a bit like weird as well but it's quite nice to just be able to like be independent and do everything yourself kind of thing um I do definitely think it doesn't necessarily feel like a uni room so much because it is so independent and we basically have like no communal areas to kind of like chill or anything like that um so that's kind of something that I've noticed that has definitely been different in terms of this oh in terms of this type of accommodation but I quite like being quite independent like I don't I don't mind it I, I quite enjoy kind of um keeping to myself I guess and it's also been like the perfect kind of um space for just like one person um, I have loads of floor space as well so I can do um, so I can get like a blow up mattress and stuff like that like a double blow up mattress is really good on the floor so that's been really good for any time I've had like friends over and um, yeah that's really it there really isn't too much to it so I'm not going to drag it out too much but fingers crossed that may have made up for my pretty fail attempt at blogging, blogging? at vlogging once again um, I think the next vlog you'll see with, from me will be from Crete and I'm so excited to go on holiday. I'm going next week, um, so expect a vlog like in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited to go on holiday. I honestly can't wait. We've had some gorgeous sunshine which has really put me like in the mood to go on holiday. Also, I hope, in case you don't already know, I have started um, uploading twice a week. So now I upload Wednesdays at 6pm and Sundays at 10am. Um, over the summer I should have more time because obviously I won't be at uni so I thought I'd just make the most of kind of the summer months and just try and film loads of new videos for you guys. I have so many ideas um, and I just really want to kind of get them going so hopefully you've caught up with my recent videos. My first Sunday video went up last Sunday so I will leave that linked in the description box below and in like a card up here somewhere so that you can check that out if you haven't already. It's about how I style mum jeans and you guys know how much I love the ASOS um, Farley jeans, they're just my all time favourites so yeah do check that out if you are interested in kind of seeing that um, please subscribe to my channel if you're new uh, as I said new videos twice a week now which is hopefully quite exciting so my next video will be on Sunday so I'll see you all then with my new video bye